Hi. Um, I want to discuss today uh, a concept about how we can wire up our distribution transformers. Um, so this being a topic that comes into play, uh, right, how in a city or a town or, you know, rural areas, how we would wire up all of our supply distribution transformers in order to supply our residential or commercial loads, right? So there's kind of two different uh, ways or setups that we can set up our distribution transformers. Uh, one of them we call the radial system, right? And the radial system is more our conventional system that you'll see, you know, um, in residential areas, outside of downtown cores, like commercial. Uh, the other way that we're going to talk about is called a network system. So, um, starting with the radial system. Now, the way the radial system works, right, uh, we all know that uh, we are going to have a higher voltage transformer and it's going to have a high voltage, you know, line. Basically, here would be our high voltage line, right? And again, this would be our conventional system, right? High voltage line. What we do is we're going to tap off from that high voltage line, uh, have a little, some type of protection device, and then we are going to feed the primary of a high voltage transformer. And we might do this a couple times along that line. Again, feeding those primaries of these high voltage transformers. Then what happens is on the secondary of the transformer, right, we might feed, you know, this might feed three houses. Right, and then this one right down here might feed, oh, again, this might feed, you know, a small warehouse and then a, you know, a small apartment building with a bunch of windows or something like that, right? Some small residential or some bigger residential and some smaller light commercial. Now, the idea here being if something goes wrong with this transformer, unfortunately, everybody that's connected on the secondary of that transformer is going to lose power, right? If they need to work on that transformer, when they open the primary protection device, everybody on the secondary is going to lose power, right? So you can see a little bit more power outages. Um, the big thing that we like here, the nice thing, is that there is going to be a low fault current, right? So fault current being based upon the available KVA of the supply transformer, uh, the voltage, uh, the impedance of the short circuit path, and the percent IZ of that supply transformer. Because this is the supply transformer, your fault current is going to be limited by this individual supply transformer. So when you're sizing your interrupting ratings for your protection devices within any of these, you don't have too much concern. Which then brings us over into this network system. Now, the network system works a little bit different. So the way the network system works is this could be our high voltage line, right? Bit hopping off of our high voltage line. Again, all of the primaries are going to be, you know, in parallel. I'm gonna do three on this one. All right, so all of our primaries, again, are gonna be connected in parallel, just like in the radial system. Now the difference here comes in the secondaries of these transformers. So in a network system, we also are going to parallel the secondaries of these transformers. Now because of that, we also are gonna require that disconnecting means and protection again. Just using a circuit breaker for simplicity. These are all going to be connected in parallel as well. Then from there, what we would do is we would go feed the, the loads, right? Go feed the bigger, most likely bigger commercial or institutional loads. Now we see a system like this a lot in downtown areas, uh, right? Very dense urban centers. It is a lot more reliable because hypothetically, if this transformer were to go offline, right? Either a fault condition or if they had to work on it, they could open both disconnects. You're still gonna get power through your loads from all of the other transformers, right? We have a huge now 
available KVA. Because all of these transformers connected in parallel are all feeding in, we have a huge, enormous, available KVA of our transformer, of our supply. However, that can provide a few problems. Uh, because we have that big available KVA, now what could happen is we could have a huge uh, fault current, right? So we need to be careful with this when we are sizing our protection devices. They often need a higher interrupting rating because they need to be able to interrupt the fault current of multiple transformers. Um, so it is really something that you need to work with your supply authority or your utility uh, provider with. Um, and again, sometimes this can even be a closed loop where they come back around in a circle uh, and that would be kind of a, called a ring system. But either way, it's all that network system. Uh, huge available KVA, a little bit more reliable, but again, we deal with bigger fault currents that we need to think about. Uh, so thanks for watching this video on some transformer distribution configurations. I hope it helped. Uh, make sure you check out the rest of the videos. Uh, thanks a lot.